Hello everyone and welcome to the first episode of my brand new series, Maximo vs. Army of Zin. Now we're going to start a new game here, and I'm going to play it on hard. That's right, I'm playing it on hard. Now, um, the levels in this game are a little longer than the ones in the first one. And again, I'm just going to skip this. Oh, I can't. Oh, I can't. Oh, there you go. Um, so, I, yeah, uh, I closed my curtains and I adjusted the resolution a little bit so it's not so bright. And, um, the gameplay in this game are a little different than they were in the first one. Maximo has a lot more attacks. Um, like, um... If you've played the first one, or if you watched my first series, that was never a that was never an ability. That was never an ability. There's a whole lot of new things. You couldn't do that in the first one. So they certainly changed a lot, a lot, from the first one to the second one. And Maximo's jumps are a little more graphically accurate. Um, but there is no crouch ability in this game. There is no crouch. That is, um, something that I'm rather disappointed about. But in this game, there is... Oh, yeah, there's that. You can actually hang on to ledges with your sword. And there are cutscenes in this game. And actual human characters. Because, um... The thing lots of people don't realize about this game is that it takes it takes place 200 years after the first game. So ma there's Maximo Ghost of Glory and then then 200 years later there's this game. So I mean Maximo's kingdom is rebuilt by now. And um when you save villagers, they give you things. And, um, I don't know if anyone knows anything about the first game. But in the first game, you actually had to, you could just find abilities. In this game, you have to buy abilities, because there will be a talisman that is in every level, and he can sell you things, and that's the purpose of coins. There's some armor back at his house. Um, I think I will go get that. And I don't know if any of you have watched any of my other videos, but I can only make these videos 10 minutes long. And that's pretty much how long it takes to make a video, to play a level, I'm sorry, to play a level in this game. Some levels are longer than others, so I may have to, like, cut it, cut the video in half, and, like, make part one and part two of a certain video. And I'll just name the I'll just name the video after the title of the level. And that's a new thing in this game, there are enemy ambushes. Yeah, altogether, this game's just much more fun than the first one was. And, um, I've actually never played this game on hard, so I don't... I'm, I don't exactly know what it does. Maybe it just, like, makes enemies harder to kill, or maybe it, you just take more damage. I don't know. Because in the first Maximo, there was no difficulty. You just played the game. Oh. These enemies I like. They're actually really cool. They have a few attacks. Oh, and another thing about this game. 
you can block as much as you want. There is no block meter. Like, you can't run out of blocks. Yeah. And checkpoints, you just hit them. See? Talisman. You can buy Amidas, Aura, Midas, whatever. Armor boxers. And, um, they, give, they allow you to have a fourth armor. So I'm actually going to buy those. I like the armor boxers. And I don't have enough for that. And if you push select in this game, it takes you here. And you can see you can actually equip your different underwear. So, um, right. She, the uh, coins. Somebody's having a bad day. Dead Island quote. And you see that little Grim icon up in the top left? That means that you can turn into Grim. That's an ability in this game. You can actually turn into him. And if you go all the way down there to that end of the river, there's a hidden chest that has a Grim coin. And if you go all the way down to that end of the river, there's a diamond. Oh yeah, and there's a whole lot of combos you can do in this game. I have, I haven't yet mastered them all. I mean, I'm sure there's a lot that I've missed. But there is, a, there's certainly a lot you can do with this game. So, I still have three minutes, that's okay. Oh, sugar. Yeah. These guys are a real pain. But like I said, they're probably my favorite enemies because they're just so cool. Shit. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. Now I f forget. There's still another guy back here. Oh. Yeah, I'm definitely noticing the significant difficulty increase. But at least I got armor. Now well, this guy, he gives you a key for that chest that's up in his house. Oh, just coins. Um, yeah, so yeah, that'll pretty much be it for the first episode, I mean, you can see it took me pretty much like 10 minutes to play it, that's how all the levels are really, um, but I also want to demonstrate just show you the new level select system. You just follow the dots. It's not like the first one where it's like an open world thing. So I'm going to save this in file number one. And that'll be my Let's Play file. Now it does take a while to save. And so join me in the next episode when we play Into the Fire. Um, uh, if you enjoyed this video, please like leave a like or a comment and um subscribe click subscribe right there click it click it now you should be doing it as i'm saying this okay uh and if i reach 100 subscribers i'll start making games on the wii okay bye bye